I made a 3D hologram illusion using a regular photo frame and my smartphone, and it looks surprisingly awesome. In this video, I'll show you two versions you can easily build at home. You can try them both and pick the one you like best. So, we'll need a simple photo frame. I'm using a 10 times 15 centimeters frame. First, place it on the table front side down, bend the metal tabs, and remove everything inside. We won't need those parts anymore. But keep the glass close, we'll use it soon. Now we need to paint the entire back side of the frame black. I'll explain why later. I use gouache, but any paint that works on wood and paper will do. Acrylic works great too. Paint the whole back evenly, without leaving any gaps. Make sure to cover the inner groove as well, the one where the glass and the photo normally sit. Once the paint is dry, put the glass back in and secure it with the tabs. Make sure the tabs aren't visible through the glass. If they stick out too much, trim the ends with cutters or bend them down with pliers. Let's keep going. We'll need a piece of thick cardboard like this. Its size should be five millimeters smaller than the frame at the top and bottom and about one centimeter wider than the glass on each side. The frame will stand like this and the distance at the base should be around 13, 15 centimeters. I have a cardboard sheet that's 14 centimeters wide, perfect for the side pieces. I mark the center of the sheet in two spots and draw a straight line. Then I place the first cardboard piece we prepared earlier and mark a point here, this will be the top of the triangle. I connect the point to the corners and cut out the triangle. I trim the excess with scissors first, just to make it easier to work. But for the straight edges, it's better to use a sharp utility knife. I place a metal ruler along the line and make several careful passes with the knife. Then I do the same on the other side. We need two identical triangles. Later, we'll attach them to the first cardboard sheet like this. But before that, we need to make one more thing. Each triangle needs a cutout size for your phone. My phone is 8 centimeters wide, so I make the opening 8.5 centimeters to give it a little extra room. The height depends on the cardboard at the bottom. In my case, it came out to 1 centimeter. I mark the cutout in the center of the bottom edge using the measurements and cut it out with the utility knife. Now we need two cardboard strips. The triangles will stand like this. So measure the width of the strips based on the legs of the triangles the small bottom supports created by the phone cutout. For now, make the strips slightly longer than your phone. We'll trim them to the exact length later. So now we have two side pieces, a back piece and two strips that will go on the bottom. All of these parts need to be painted black as well. Cover every surface evenly without missing any spots. Once the strips are dry, set them aside. Flip the other pieces over and paint the other side too. Great, everything is dry, so we can move on. Now we need to attach a clear plastic sheet to the rectangular back piece. You can get this kind of plastic from any sturdy packaging. For example, from boxes that hold chocolates or other sweets. Packaging from kids' toys works great too. The main thing is that the plastic is stiff enough to hold its shape. That's what we need for this project. Once you find a suitable piece, cut it to match the size of the cardboard. If it's dusty or has smudges, wipe it clean. This affects the quality of the hologram. I use a microfiber cloth for glasses. It works perfectly. Now let's attach the plastic to the cardboard. I'm using double-sided tape. I place two thin strips of tape along the edges and trim the excess. Then I peel off the top layer. First. I stick the plastic down on one side. Then, gently pulling it tight, I attach the other side. This is important, the plastic needs to be slightly stretched so it sits flat without waves or bends. If it's not tight, the image will distort. Now for the final assembly. I take a hot glue gun and apply glue to the side edge. I place the piece on the table and quickly attach the first side triangle. 
It's important to press the rectangular piece flat against the table, because cardboard can warp a little after painting. Pressing it down keeps everything straight while the glue sets. Now I flip the whole thing over, apply glue to the other side, and attach the second triangle. Good! Now let's trim the strips to the right length. I place one like this and mark it with a marker. The second strip will be the same length, so I just place it next to the first one and cut it with the utility knife. We'll glue the strips on with the painted side facing up. Place them like this. Apply hot glue and press them down. Flip the structure over and do the same with the second strip. Perfect! Almost finished! Now let's see how it sits on the phone. The last step is to attach the frame to our cardboard structure. I flip it over, apply glue, place the frame on top, and voila! All done! The only thing left is to set up your phone. Turn the screen brightness all the way up and lock the screen rotation. Then open YouTube and search for hologram video or something similar. Pick any video you like. Turn the phone upside down so the image is inverted, but keep the screen facing up and place it on the table. Now put the frame on top. Looks pretty cool, doesn't it? At the beginning of the video, I promised to explain why we painted the back of the frame black. It helps reduce reflections and glare on the plastic sheet. That's also why all the inner parts are painted black. It keeps the image bright even with the room lights on. You can also try another version build the setup without the back cardboard using only the clear plastic. In that case, dim the lights a bit so the hologram looks brighter. Look at this! From a low angle, it looks especially interesting when the phone is completely hidden by the frame, almost like a real hologram. Just make sure the plastic is thick and rigid enough if it's too flimsy, the image will distort and the effect won't look good. I also recommend watching my previous video, where I showed how to make a hologram video projector. In that video, I explained how you can build it from simple everyday items you already have at home, like bottles, glasses, or even food containers. Click on the picture you see here to watch that video, and I left the link in the description.